blessing, good morning to you, Trinidad and Tobago. Good day to you, world. My name is Derek Mason, I'm your friendly intercessor, aka God's general. I'm glad to be in your company and service this morning again. And immediately I go into the word of admonition that the Lord would have placed upon my heart to share with us. Isaiah 53, 43 rather, sorry. Isaiah 43. But now, thus says the Lord, the Creator, the one who created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. You are mine, you belong to me. When thou passest through the, the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, O holy, O O, o Holy One of Israel, the, the, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I give Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Even everyone that is called by my name, for I've created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this and show us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses that they may be justified. Or let them hear and say it. Say it is truth. You are my witnesses, said the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. I have declared and I have saved, I have shewed when there was no strange God among you, therefore you are my witness, says the Lord, that I am God. Yea, before the day was, I am He, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? This says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, 
for your sake I have sent you to Babylon. It's for your sake, it's your cause, your fault that I've sent you to Babylon and I've brought down all your nobles and the Chaldeans whose cry is in the ship. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea, and a path in the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot and the horse, the army and the power, they shall lie down together, they shall not rise. In other words, they will be dead. Pharaoh and his armies. They are extinct. They are quenched as though. Remember ye the former days, the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give water in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This my people have I formed for myself. They shall shew forth my praise. This is what the Lord is saying. But the other verses said, this, These things I will do, I will do a new thing, and these things have I done. You bear witness of me that there is no other God but me. Verse 22 says, But, but, where there's that conjunction. We ought to open our eyes and our ears. He says, But thou hast not called upon me, O Jacob, but thou hast been weary of me, O Israel. Can one be weary of the Lord? Yes. But what about the Lord being weary of us? Says, but thou hast been weary of me, O Israel. Thou hast not bought me the small cattle of thy burnt offerings. Neither hast thou honored me with thy sacrifices. I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, nor weary thee with incense. Thou hast bought me no sweet cane with money, neither hast thou filled me with the fat of thy sacrifices. In other words, the Lord said, is saying here, coming up short. But thou hast made me to serve with thy sins. Thou hast wearied me with thine iniquities. I, even I, am he. I am the one that blots out transgressions for my own sake. Not for your sake, for my own sake. And will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance. Remind me, says the Lord. Put me in remembrance. And let us plead together. Let's have a conversation. Declare thou that thou mayest justify. You tell me, you speak. 
so that you would be justified. He says, your fathers have sinned and thy teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore, I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary. Those that belong to the house, I profane them. Because your fathers have sinned against me and your teachers have transgressed against me. That is why I profane their princes in the sanctuary. And have given Jacob to the curse and Israel to reproaches. It is so likewise unto us the church today. The Lord is weary with our prayer meetings. Weary with our services. Weary our prayer meetings and our prayer sessions. Weary him. Why? Because there's no change. There's no transformation. Plenty talk and blah, blah. No change. No change of heart. The Lord started off by showing Israel, I am the one. You bear me witness. That there's no other God but me. I change not. He says, if you walk through the fires, I would be with you. I was there with you when you went through the floods. I provided in the wilderness. I brought down Egypt in the midst of the sea for you. I give life for you. And you have not bought me any sacrifice at all. Said you brought me no sacrifice. None. You have not called upon me. You may say, oh, we just have prayer meeting. Just pray on the radio. Every day we in service. God knows whether you're calling on him or not. He knows his name. He knows when you're calling on him in truth. He knows where your heart is at. He's wary of our prayer meetings because there's no change. Wary of our services. No transformation. No conforming of the heart and mind. Therefore, our nation is polluted with murders because there's no change in the church. The Lord says, Thou hast brought me no sweet cane. No sacrifice. No one giving up on their iniquities. On their transgressions. He said, bear me, put me in remembrance. You tell me, you remind me. And, and declare it. Let us plead together. Let us argue together let us have a conversation together so that you will be justified you tell me he says your fathers have sinned your teachers have sinned your prophets your apostles your pastors living in sin your prayer meeting i am wary of it because it's only words and no change says the lord this is his word to you this morning, church. Weary. Says you have served me with your sins. You have wearied me with your iniquities. When I am the one, even I, I'm the one that have blot out your transgression for my sake. It is I who show mercy. Yet you have not turned lip service, loud, loud in prayer meeting, stamping hard, hard, 
sounding eloquent and no change no change of mind and heart pollution in the house the Lord says you have weary me weary me with your iniquity weary me with your sin says your fathers for fathers fathers of the nation that's why your land is polluted with murders and crime the church have failed commit sin today and we mount the pulpit today there's no repentance we quote chronicles over and over again if my people who are called by my name should humble themselves and pray and there's no humility none the Lord says you have wearied me I'm wary of your prayer meetings that's why I don't show up that's why I don't show up that's why there's no move full of words empty vessels Says, therefore have I profaned their princesses I have profaned it says the Lord I profaned your teachers I profaned those of the sanctuary those of the house why I've given them to a curse and to reproaches why there's no change goes across the board I'm not exempted this for all of us he's the one who says you are you are my witness and I'm the Lord I'm the Holy One I'm your creator I'm your Redeemer besides me you know it there's no Savior He ask of us to remember the former days, remember the days. He says, I want to do a new thing. So when you remember, remember it no more. Because I want to do a new thing. I want it to spring forth. When it spring forth, you will know it. It starts with you. That new thing is in you, a new heart, a new mind, a new lifestyle, a new walk. She will make a way in any wilderness for you. She will bring rivers in the deserts for you. The one who formed us. He says that he called. And no one answered. Call. No one gave a sacrifice. Our offerings have been in vain. When we call upon him, there was just empty words because our heart was not in it. We have wearied him with our sin. We have wearied the Lord. our services just going through the motion some of us monk the pulpit we we, we, we we do things and just go through the motion for the repetition of it but we are backslidden already from the call the Lord says you have wearied me 
just as he would have spoken concerning Israel in this chapter so likewise the church today they have not bought unto him a pure sacrifice a living sacrifice of our lives don't want to give up on the necromancy yes we go into the house of the Lord and return back to our idols when we go home our strings and our mounted stuff or pouring out of drink offerings and sacrifices to devils before idols and altars bathing with salts and different baths to deal with demonic oppressions the Lord is saying put me in remembrance let us plead together when have I failed you yet you turn to these senseless charms and mounted stuff I wonder why you are not free even the oils you trust in are not me have not had a change of heart I am weary of your sin you have wearied me says the Lord weary of your prayer meetings your services because there is no change there's no change that's why there's no breakthrough as he says in verse 27 28 of Isaiah 43 Thy first fathers had sinned and thy teachers have transgressed against me. From Adam till now. He says, therefore I have profaned the princesses and that, that are of the sanctuary and have given Jacob to the curse. Wonder why we're not getting breakthrough. Wonder why we are in reproach. All due respect, heard over the news or Prime Minister called for a time of prayer, another day of prayer. If we do not have a change of heart from captain to cook, from head to tail, if we don't have a change of heart, that prayer day will weary the Lord also. Because many times we had solemn call and there's no change of heart. From government leaders to business leaders, church leaders, no change of heart can see it it's reflecting in our nation the many deaths the brutality the robbery the compromise the pollution in the church compromise the Lord is wary would we'll be wary of that day too if there's no change we call how much prayer meeting call how much from different religion whatever there, if there's no change no change of hearts no conversion the Lord is weary your sin this says the Lord to us Trinidad and Tobago the Lord is weary for so called prayer meeting and services that's why there's no move none 
You have to be real. Compromising have to stop. Have to stop. Had to stop somewhere. God says I, even I, I am the one who bloods out transgressions. I will not remember your sin. I, I can blot it out. It says, remind me. Let me know. Let us plead together. So that you will be justified. Let us pray. Let us pray, but not in vain. Let us not pray idle words. Let us pray with the determination of bringing change to our lives personally. This is not about the person down the road. It starts with us. Times when we hear a message, we think of persons, not ourselves. Times we look at others, not deep within. The Lord is weary. That's why there's profanity. That's why there's curses and reproaches among us. The world points the finger at the church. Say, if that is what I'm doing, I don't want no church. If he is a pastor, he's a prophet, and living so. Want no part. That's why there's profanity. That's why there's reproach. God is wary of the antics, all the drama, noise, no change of heart, loud, loud noise, rhythm, and, and, and all sorts of things. No change, just a sweat. Just a sweat. Sermons. Being self-centered. There's no challenge upon the heart. By the leaders for holiness unto our God. Father, help us. Help us. You are the one that blots out transgression. He said, I, even I, am he that blots out your transgressions for your sake. In the abundance of your mercy, here we are again. Here we are again. Here we are again. You have said as concerning Israel. You're saying the same for us. We have not called upon you. Though we sound as though we were calling. You know whether it's in truth or in vain. We mention your name. Say, Lord, and our hearts are far. Just the song is coming out, but our hearts are not there. We hold on to our sin while stretching towards you. And you have refused because we hold on to the transgression. You're saying today, let go. Let go. Exchange. Let's 
chain. You're the one who blots out. Father, this morning, it's a vessel that brings your word. Start with me. Let not my voice or my words be empty. Start with me. Cleanse me. Purge me. Help me to be determined to live right. To live what I preach. To live what I teach. Let not hypocrisy be a part of my life. or deceit, or deception. Don't want to be a double agent. In fact, it's impossible for no man can serve two masters. As you say, he would either love one or hate the other. If he love you, he would turn. So visit us once more and bring about change. Visit us, Lord. Return to our prayer meetings. Return to our services. Return to our nation, Trinidad and Tobago. Return. We have not humbled ourselves to find mercy. We have not humbled ourselves. We have walked in our pride. Think because we, we wear a suit. We are well educated and formed according to this world. Gain popularity by compromise, condoning and overlooking the wrong, making people feel comfortable in their transgression, and therefore we have earned that popularity. But it's the very thing that weary you. hypocrisy or loose lifestyle or pride we have not humbled ourselves your word it, it's like we are numbed it it does not move us anymore we have become reprobates our neck have become stiff Therefore, you are right when you said we have not called upon you. We have not bought real and true and sincere sacrifice to you. Sweet cane, as you would call it. We have not offered up that fragrance that gives you pleasure. All we have offered up is a stench. The stench of our witchcraft and our adulterous ways, our lies and our profanity. With one, one, one mouth we bless and another we curse. Bitter and sweet coming out of the same mouth, same fountain. said this is why you have profaned our leaders leaders of the sanctuary you have given us up to a curse limitations setbacks 
things not working out, not having breakthrough, not seeing healing and miracles, blind coming and leaving blind, people coming bound and leaving bound. It says why there's reproach by the world. The Lord is weary to our sin. And our iniquities have wearied him. Father, help. Help. We bear witness. There's no savior but you. If you don't save, who else can? If we fall into your hands, who could deliver? It's a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. One may say, I'd rather be in the hands of God than the hands of man. You better be living right when you say so. It's a fearful thing. Fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. This goes for all of us. I am not exempted. Not. Lord, have your way. Start with me. Start with me. From one of the young leaders of my nation. One of the young voices for you, start with me. Set me apart, receive my sacrifice. Receive my offering, Lord. I offer myself to your service. To your service. To the end of my days. The end of my days. To the end of my days. Lead me in your righteousness because of the enemy. Let not that devil ever have foretold in my life. For there is none that can deliver like you. And there is none that can deliver out of your hands. So keep me. Likewise, do the same for those that are asking of you. Be not weary with our prayer and our services. Be not weary with our offerings because we come real this time. There is a remnant that loves you. There is a remnant that wants you. There is a remnant that, that is not on games and you know them. For you search the hearts of all men ways you know are far off or hearts it is open before you close the man but open before you there's nothing that is in darkness that shall not be uncovered by you in the world is offering up a stench. This is our sacrifice. A living sacrifice. Living offering. You, 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 you would have told us. The gospel. He who comes after you. Must take up his cross and follow you. The cross is a symbol of execution symbol 
of sacrifice, symbol of death. I must die to this world, but live us on to you. Help as we seek change. Help as we seek change. May we not weary you anymore with our sin, with our iniquity, with our transgression. When we have solemn assembly, may it be in truth not to be recognized by man, but to be open to you to be broken. Our condition, it reflects upon our nation. Therefore, the nations of the earth look in. Our murders have gone up five and something. It's a reflection of us, the church, that you are weary. We have not humbled so that you would heal our land. We have not come down from our transgression so that you would heal our land. Just quote and quote and quote and quote and have not turned. Plenty words. Plenty. You have a right to say that we have not called upon you. Because we do it in vain. Lip service. You must know when we call upon you because our heart will be in it. Our heart will be in it.